Hey guys, take one with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you how to connect the Apple Watch to the new iPhone 14 lineup here. So we have the iPhone 14 Pro here that we're going to do the setup for, but this will work on any iPhone running on the latest iOS 16 update and Apple Watch, any of the newer Apple Watch that you have. So as you can see here, we have the Apple Watch here. And what happens is right away you see this menu pop up because this Apple Watch hasn't been set up. When it's near it, automatically show up this. Now if it doesn't show up, you can press this button right here to turn off the Apple Watch. So you're going to turn off the Apple Watch and then turn it back on. So that's if, you, if the phone, for example, uh, if it doesn't show up. You can also turn off the of iPhone and then turn it back on till you see that menu. So let's go ahead and set it up. So we can hit that continue option. Once you hit that continue option, what we'll say is do you want notification? You can allow notification if you want. And then you're going to want to set it up either for yourself or a family member. So we're going to set up for ourselves. So we're going to click on that. And then once you do that, you'll get this animation on the Apple Watch with changes. And we're going to simply put our phone camera on it. So we're going to look to get it paired up and it says it's not able to do it. Let's try one more time. So basically it has to be in the frame here. And as you can see, once that happens, it will say set up your Apple Watch. You're going to set, set up and then you're going to set what wrist that you're going to be on putting it on. So pick your left or right, whatever you prefer. We're just going to go with the default left here and then hit that continue option. And then it will start pairing or connecting till that pairing happens. Again, this is the initial setup, so you're going to have to be a little patient here. But once this happens, I'll show you the next step. So this, again, will be spinning just like that. Uh, it's normal, and then we get the terms and condition where you can hit agree here. And then you want to either enter a passcode or sign into your Apple ID if you haven't signed into your Apple ID. So this is to pair your Apple Watch with the same account on your device here. So make sure you want to go ahead and enter the password for your Apple ID. So uh, we can do that or you can simply skip that step. Recommend you enter your password, but for our purpose, we're going to skip. Same with uh, messages, how you want to get it. It'll give you an email that's connected with the phone. You can enter the password uh, to do that. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that. So you can enter the password and then we're going to sign into our Apple ID here. So all we're doing is simply signing into our Apple ID here on the phone. And then we get this thing where it's verifying the Apple ID. It will take a few minutes, but shouldn't really take a few minutes. So once we have that, that will link this Apple Watch to the Apple account that you have signed in to. So that will kind of make it so that you can kind of find your phone and uh, do all of that. Also get messages and everything that's on your app and your phone will pretty much sync up with your Apple Watch. So as you can see here, Next thing we get is analytics. It's asking if we want to send the analytics. I usually don't share with Apple. And then passcode. You want to create a passcode to enter passcode on your Apple Watch so that you know you can protect it. So you can create a passcode here. As you'll see here, we'll just create one here. And location, if you want to enable location services, again, you want to enable or disable up to you so that you can use that. And then the text size, you can see here, you can increase the text size. We're just going to leave it as default, or you can come back and set it up later as well. And then share settings, you're just going to hit OK. And then you can personalize things for your health if you're using the fitness option. And then activity, you can set it up. And then other things like cardio and noise. Just hit continue here and you can see about these things if you're taking heart medication you want to indicate that and then safety and emergency by fall detection which is going to hit continue and once we do that we should be able to start with our as you can see here it's spinning right in the corner right here that means it's setting up all the settings that we have enabled so give it a moment for that setup to happen and again, this will again take a moment or so. And once that happens, we should be pretty much good to go. If 
So we're going to hit continue here once it allows us to do it and that thing stops spinning, which again, as you can see, the initial time when you set it up, usually it does take a little bit, but after you set it up once, you won't have to do this again. Now you have Apple Pay to add your card to it. You can add it, or if you already have cards, it will be able to use this. We're just going to skip that later. Now, the always on display, if you want that on your Apple Watch, you can have that now. So, And then App Preview, if you want it as Grid View or List View, whatever your choice is, we're just going to go with the default. And then you'll see Apple Watch is syncing. Get to know your Apple Watch. So as you can see here now on the Apple Watch, that thing you see on it, it is spinning. Now, you'll have to wait till it completely goes and once it goes full circle, so as you can see it started, it will go to full circle because it is syncing now. You can kind of read things about it, hit that done option. And you're just going to have to wait until that finishes. And after that, your Apple Watch is done setting up and you're ready to go and you can start using it. And to check the Apple Watch itself, you also have the Apple Watch app. So if you need to access that, you'll be able to access and add and do things with the app itself that it syncs. Again, this will take much longer, but you pretty much are done after this step. So hopefully this quick little video helped you guys. If so, make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.